Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for as long as I can remember, I have watched Family Guy. Family Guy is that show, you know, with the little baby with the football head, Stewie, we love Stewie. I'm pretty sure my email back in the day, like when I was in like middle school, was stewiefan at gmail.com or something like that. I even had little PJ pants with Stewie on them, okay? Stewie's the MVP. I still do watch the show every here and there, like when I'm going to bed, I'll throw it on the TV, or you know, if I'm doing something else, I'll throw it on, something like that. Especially now that The Office is off of Netflix. Rest in peace. I was watching the show a few months ago and an episode came on that was titled Trans Fat. Get it? Like trans fat? Get it? In the episode, I mean, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because obviously we're going to be reacting to it today, but Peter becomes a woman. Peter transitions. Peter is a trans. I probably shouldn't say that. I post new videos here on my channel every Monday and Thursday, so go ahead and subscribe if you are not already. I'll wait for you. Are you done? Thank you very much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to keep as up to date with me as possible. And I also have a Patreon, so if you guys like the work that I do here on my channel and you wanna donate, the link for that is down below as well. But yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into this Family Guy episode. So I'm not gonna be watching every scene in this show. I'm gonna do my best to not get a copyright strike on this video. But yeah, we are gonna be watching like three or four scenes maybe. So let's get into it. The scene starts out with Peter, Quagmire, Cleveland, and Joe at a baseball game. Peter gets real drunk and has to go to the bathroom. Hey buddy, that's just a break in the lines so that people can pass through. End of the lines that way. Oh, screw that, I'm using the ladies room. How bad could it be? Ah! I saw a mouse. Buddy, if you really gotta go, you can use that one. A bathroom for Prince? I can't use that. I'm not Prince. It's not for Prince. Space cats? I'm not a space cat. Sir, I can assure you there's no such thing as space cats. Now, can you direct me to Earth's reserve of yarn? Uh, screw this. Guys, I found the best toilet in the whole place. Next time, Peter, you're on the Jumbotron. <gasps> Where? Right there. <gasps> Here? There, Peter, there. Here? Yes? It's right in front of you, Peter. Right here? No! no. Oh, over here? Damn it, Peter, you're gonna miss it. Is it, is it, is this it? Aha! Uh -huh. Where? <laughs> hey, guys, look! I'm on the Jumbotron! Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big Boston welcome to Peter Griffin, the first transgender Red Sox fan. Peter, you use the transgender bathroom, so now everyone thinks you're transgender. Honestly, a trans icon already. We'd love to see it. So as you can tell by the scene, he kind of mistakenly gets outed as a transgender woman. I'm just kidding. He's not actually trans. He just uses the gender neutral or the trans bathroom and then comes back and they're like, we have our first transgender fan. Yay. Honestly, if somebody took a video of me coming out of the bathroom, I'd be pissed. That is my time. Also, outing somebody on a jumbotron, probably not the nicest thing to do, but I mean, hey, it's fine. Good morning, Peter. We saw the game last night, and well, we just want you to know that we wholeheartedly support all transgender people. But I'm not, Peter. Before you say anything that might clear all this up, let me tell you about our stellar transgender employee benefit package. Benefits? I'm trans listening. Well, as such, you're entitled to supplemental time off, our on-site masseuse, and a $60 gift card from Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack? Yeah, but Nordstrom. Yes, I understand, but it's just rack. Well, in the words of trailblazer Caitlyn Jenner, I will do anything for money and attention. So brave. Gray. Ooh, should they throw in shots at Miss Caitlyn Jenner? Honestly, though, if they're gonna give me a Nordstrom rack gift card, I transition too. Shit. I detransition. For mm. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe I won't detransition. I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke on how like woke and progressive all companies are becoming, but like I don't even care. I loved it. I thought it was great. I love seeing welcoming and accepting companies. The Nordstrom Rack gift card is just a little cherry on top. Mwah. I was trying to do that chef's kiss for a minute there. He that pretending to be transgender to get time off work trivializes a real struggle in this country. Period. Okay. Tell him, Lois. Space cats get to you. I don't know what that is, but you gotta knock this off. And direct me to Earth's reserve of sun-dappled window seats. Lois is right, Peter. Besides the fact that you're lying to your employers, you're taking advantage of a civil liberty that so many oppressed people have fought their entire lives for. Shut your mouth, Brian. I'm part of a movement. Hey, what is transgender, anyway? Is that the stuff in potato chips that makes your bum go bam? Ugh, oh, it, it's pointless arguing with you. Cool. Now, in order to pull this off, I'm gonna have to look the part. I can't even begin to describe the density of illness I feel in my bone marrow right now. That, that, is, that is how appalled I am by this. Are there guys? Sorry, Peter, I don't see you getting away with this one. 
Look, Peter, the good news is you still fit in your wife's wedding gown. Not every guy can say that. It's actually Meg's. She commits murders in it. What's this now? That just did, Peter. This whole thing is a joke to you. Are you forgetting I have a dad who's a woman? No, of course not. That's the first thing everyone thinks of when they see you. But th this isn't like that. And I thought you guys would support me. Peter, I'll support you if you wear a dress, Peter. Not if you mock the trans community. Absolutely new. Hey, I thought he looked kind of cute in the wedding dress, no? <laughs> so now Peter goes to the salon. He gets his hair done. No, I think he gets wigs. He gets wigs. He learns how to do his makeup. He gets a new wardrobe. Let's see what happens. Now, Peter, one of the perks of being a woman is that you get to go out and have a white wine squeak fart lunch with your friends. Did you hear Diane's husband left her? Yeah, you could tell from the wedding they were not going to last. <laughs> Shame. And they have two kids. I can't. I'm literally laughing Marriage at Marriage is hard. Those machines in the ladies' room don't vend pants, do they? <laughs> this is so great. Now that I'm a woman, I can lean dance into anyone's karaoke song. When you were here before, could look you in the eye. Yeah, it's a work night. Woo! Hey, come on, get out of here. You're ruining my birthday party. Oh, Your skin not the makes birthday me party. cry. Sing Justin Timberlake. Come on, I waited an hour and a half for this. And hey, get off that bar. Why? <laughs> also because me. you're at low fan O'Reilly's. Oh, fuck. That was intense. But I mean, they're not wrong. I do love me dancing on a stage when it's clearly not my turn and also dancing on elevated surfaces. I won't lie. Thank God you're okay. Hello, bosses and not my family. You really gave us a scare there. Oh, what do you mean? What? You went into a coma after you were hit in the head by a fan. Oh, it was funny. And then it wasn't. A coma? Well, I feel tomato now, beige spots. Beige spots. And since spots. the company was paying for your medical care anyway, we fulfilled your letter of medical intent for your sex reassignment surgery. What? She's saying that your surgery to become a woman was a complete success. It's much easier going that way, believe me. Just a chopping them up. Congratulations, Peter. You're officially a woman. No! Dang, though, I should have just hit my head in a bar and went into a coma for my surgery. Sounds like I could have saved myself a lot of pain. I really hope I don't have to clarify that that's not how that works. Your bosses can't actually sign your, you know, medical consent forms. We got that, right? We're on the same page? All right, cool. We're just going to move on. I know it's Family Guy. It's not meant to be taken seriously, but one thing that I did not like is how they said, you're officially a woman. Like, you're finally a woman. You're a complete woman. As I say on my channel all the time, surgeries, bottom surgeries, top surgeries do not make you a woman. You know, I was just as much of a woman before I had my bottom surgery as I was afterwards. You know, there are a lot of trans women that choose not to have any surgeries, and they're still a woman. So that phrasing was a little bit problematic, but I mean, it's Family Guy. It's fine. Hey, now that we're all settled at this table, you guys want to move outside? because it's such a nice day. Okay, why don't you go save us a table outside and we'll be there soon. Taken. Sorry. You know, it's fun back here. You don't even know you're in Quahog. Please don't talk to us. You're too fat. You want me to start a new tab for you? No, you can just keep ours going. Your friends left the minute you came out here and they didn't pay their indoor tab. I feel so alone. And that bitch stole my hairstyles. Well, hello. That's what he said to me. Oh, okay. All right. This scene is kind of, well, I'm not kind of sad. It's very sad. They did a good job of making it humorous. But honestly, that's something that a lot of trans people face is that when they transition, they lose friends. You know, the people that they hung out with before might not necessarily be comfortable with them transitioning. Maybe they're not as explicitly rude as like Quagmire and all those boys, but it's definitely possible to drift apart from certain friends in your life when you transition. As for the women, the fart joke killed me, I won't lie. Of course, some women are gonna be superficial like that, just as much as some men would be though, so I, I feel like that's more so just like a stereotype that they're playing off of. I will say though that cis women can be very judgmental of trans women. Most of the time, they're very, very accepting and very awesome and cool or whatever, but I did notice when I was first transitioning that they would kind of not be the nicest. I feel bad for little Patricia. What would his name be? Peter? Patricia? Peter? Patricia? Beatrice? Peter? Ida? Come, sit. What's wrong? Yeah, it's a long story. Yeah, I've heard. Peter, everything is going to be okay. I'm going to tell you a story. When I first met you, Peter, 
I was already at the end of a long journey to find the courage to become a woman. But before that, I lived for 61 years as a miserable, miserable man. And from the age of eight, I was mercilessly teased for being different and dressing funny. Then, at the age of 14, I had an epiphany. It was so clear. I was a girl trapped in a boy's body. I'm having a hard time focusing without a drink, but go on. It took me 47 years from that day to officially own who I am. Is there a waiter, or...? I became an expert at hiding my secret. I became a war hero and raised a family. But I was dying inside. And the deeper I buried it, the more unhappy I became. And eventually, I even thought of ending my own life. But I couldn't do that to Glenn. I had no idea. You know nothing about what it means to feel this struggle. Yeah, you're right. I kind of stumbled into all this, but you've been dealing with it your whole life. Yes, I have. And my story, to one degree or another, is every transgender person's story. And all those stories are the price of admission to finally feeling at peace with who you are. A price you never paid. Uh, I'm so sorry, Ida. You were a bad person. But now you've taken a journey. It just took becoming a woman to make you a better man. But I'll never be that better man. I can't afford the surgery to go back. I think I might be able to help you with that, Peter. I'm fucking lose my shit right now. First of all, the LGBTQ Fridays. Can we make this a thing? How fun would that be? How lit would that be? Somebody make it happen out there. Make it happen. Ida's whole story. If you don't know who Ida is, it's Quagmire's dad that transitioned, you know, into a woman or whatever. I feel like Ida's story was kind of like... Not a mockery, but kind of just like a parody or not even a parody, just kind of like, you know, the common trope or the common, you know, narrative that you hear from trans people. It did feel kind of like a joke, but at the same time, it was very, very like accurate to how a lot of people experience their trans identity. So I kind of appreciate it, you know, like I understand it's family guy, they have to make it funny. But at the same time, like I said, that is something that a lot of trans people can probably relate to is having that that misery or like knowing at a young age and not being able to do something about it or, or even having those dark thoughts about ending it. So bravo, I'm about it, I like it. Good job, family guy. Peter, you started a Kickstarter. Not exactly. Oh, that's, that's not a K. Look at that, you're up to six inches. That's two inches past your goal. It's not important what the goal was. What's important is this community cares. Congratulations, Mr. Griffin, your surgery was a success. You're a man again. I won't lie, the play on words for the Kickstarter, beautiful. So of course, like when he had the first surgery, they're like, you're a woman now, you're complete. Not exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like that's not exactly how it works. Like I already went over that, but then they kind of did the same thing again when he had the detransition surgery. They were like, oh, you're a man again. Pointing to the idea that, you know, having a penis makes you a man or having a penis makes you a Having a penis makes you a vagina. Having a vagina makes you a woman, which of course a lot of the times that is how it is. A lot of people are cisgender, so that is the trend that we see, but it's not like the ultimate truth. You know, we have trans women that have penises. We have trans men with vaginas. So they're still very much a woman. They're still very much a man. Moving on. Also like right after surgery, he looks like a man again. You know, he has short hair again. Like they give you a haircut when you're under. Is that how that went? Oh wait, no, he had wigs, didn't they? Never mind. Well, I mean, at least give him his wigs back. I'm sure those shits were expensive. But okay, you guys, that is pretty much it for that episode. I actually really liked it. I thought they did a good job. I thought it was funny. Of course, there were a couple problematic moments, but it's family guy. You have to have a little, you know, you gotta give him a little something, something. Especially when overall they did a good job of portraying an actual transgender person. You know, they included Ida's story and it was a story that a lot of trans people can probably relate to. So yeah, I approve. I thought it was great. Good job, family guy. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up right down below. It really helps on my channel a lot. So I would really appreciate it. I post videos every Monday and Thursday here on my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you are not already and you'd like to be. And yeah, other than that, I think I'm going to go. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye everyone.